the Prince of Wales. A fundraising effort is underway to raise money for a memorial to the only man to win the Victoria Cross on D-Day. Campaigners believe Company Sergeant Major Stan Hollis deserves recognition in his hometown of Middlesbrough. Tim Cooper travelled to the North East to find out more. Middlesbrough's skyline is punctuated by landmarks. Some are echoes of the city's industrial past, others more recent. The most famous is the Grade 2 Transporter Bridge, built in 1911. It still carries thousands of cars and pedestrians across the River Tees each year. Then there are the statues of the great and the good, like those of famous players outside Middlesbrough's Riverside Stadium. But soon Middlesbrough could have a new landmark, dedicated to the memory of a man who was one of the bravest who fought on the Normandy beaches on D-Day. Out of nearly 62,000 British troops to land on the 6th of June 1944, Company Sergeant Major Stan Hollis of the Green Howards was the only man to be awarded the Victoria Cross for his actions. Stan Hollis came from Middlesbrough, and now local people and his family want his bravery to be honoured in his home city, which they say has almost forgotten about him. The plan is to construct a memorial close to Middlesbrough Cenotaph, which will tell the story of Stan Hollis, not just his bravery on D-Day, but also his service in Dunkirk, North Africa and Sicily. Well, the last hero we had was Captain Cook 200 years ago, so it would be nice to have a new hero. And for everybody to look up to and the, the, and the younger generation be inspired. This is a magnificent site for it around the Cenotaph and they'll have a new hero and people have got to learn all about it and about the war. CSM Hollis was awarded the Victoria Cross for a number of astoundingly brave actions on D-Day. The first saw him rush a heavily armed German pillbox. Firing with his Sten gun, he jumped on top, threw a grenade through the door while continuing to fire. He killed two Germans and took the rest prisoner. Later that day, he attacked and destroyed a field gun being grazed on the cheek by a sniper's bullet in the process before drawing enemy fire to allow two fellow greenhouses to escape a house where they'd become trapped. Brian Hollis is Stan's son. He says he never really talked about what happened to him and in his everyday life was a quiet and gentle man. But he believes he'd be grateful for the planned tribute. It's given some prominence to the greenhouses and uh, he'd be over the moon with that, that would be his, because he really did, he really did like the regiment. The memorial team are still assessing the exact design. They think it will cost upwards of £80,000 and will take a couple of years to raise the money. But what happened to the VC hero after the war? Well, after a succession of jobs, he ran a pub in the North Ormsby area. When he took over as landlord, it was called the Albion. He renamed it the Green Howard after his regiment. It's long gone now, demolished to make way for the new Middlesbrough that's starting to emerge. But the memory of this man won't be lost. This new memorial should keep alive his exploits for everybody, forever. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Middlesbrough.